Dear students, I am Subha Bansiwal, Assistant Professor English, SPC Government College, Beam. Today, I am going to explain the story, The Cursed House by uh, Emily Gaborio. Uh, this story uh, is about um, In this story, the writer tells how a little incident is magnified and exploited in such a way that it leads to disastrous consequences which le uh, which give uh, in this uh, story uh, Vicomte D.B. Uh, was a young man uh, he was very generous and uh, he had a good job and he earned um, a good money um, he earned a lot through his job and uh, he had a, a rich uncle uh, and uh, his uncle had no son and daughter so after his death uh, all of his property goes to uh, Vicomte. Uh, Vicomte uh, becomes a rich person uh, he becomes uh, the owner of a big house uh, which, uh, which was being run on a rent uh, there were many uh, there were 23 uh, uh, people uh, who were uh, living as uh, rent, were living on rent uh, in this house and uh, this uh, through this uh, through the rent of this house he earned uh, 82000 um, divorce so, um, but um, as Vicomte was a generous person, he decided, he thought that his uncle was a little uh, hard-hearted and uh, he, th he decided a plan to um, lessen, to lower the rent of his um, rent of of the uh, people who were living in his house so uh, he uh, decided to lower the rent uh, one third uh, so uh, the the caretaker of this house was mr bertram he called mr bertram and told him his idea when Bert mr bertram heard his uh, plan he became very shocked uh, it was unnatural and uh, he uh, he asked him again was uh, he was saying what he was saying was right um, and uh, mr uh, and vicomte confirmed him by telling again and again that he wanted to lower the rents uh, so and he uh, asked him to to uh, follow his orders rather than arguing and mr bertram went to his home and he told everything about this to his wife um, and both of them thought uh, began to wonder whether they should obey uh, the order of his uh, of uh, vicomte or uh, tell about it to his uh, relative uh, because uh, Mr. Bertram's wife uh, did not uh, believe on his uh, on her husband's uh, information, so she went to uh, Vicomte and confirmed. And Vicomte uh, had given her order in return. Uh, the next day, uh, Mr. Bertram told all the uh, people in the home that the rent will be uh, reduced. Uh, one third uh, the people in the home became very anxious they uh, collected at a place and they discussed and and uh, they ar aroused a, a, a doubt in their mind they began to uh, think that uh, there surely there would be something uh, wrong behind this step of um, mr vicomte uh, so uh, they thought uh, many many uh, three of these people went to um, vicomte and told him that mr bertram had sa had said to them that their 
uh, rents will be reduced uh, he has gone mad how can it be so uh, but uh, vicomte confirmed uh, the this information uh, so there rose a doubt in the people of the house and they uh, they began to uh, create many uh, many fears in their mind such as many people said that um, surely they um, vicomte had done some crime and uh, and as a guilt he is trying to um, and to uh, remove and due to his remorse he is reducing the uh, rent and uh, some others said that uh, there must be some um, um some said that uh, there um, some uh, russian or prussia uh, spies must have been lost in this house others said uh, that there must be um, uh, a counterfeited um, they must be some uh, factory of counterfeiting uh, coins uh, and other said that he was uh, planning to burn the house uh, with furniture and uh, all the things in it to get uh, insurance uh, so people became uh, frightened and they began to create their um, different ideas in their mind uh, at later stages people uh, this uh, this doubt became worse and people uh, some people said that uh, there is something strange on the upper story of the uh, of the of this building they hear strange uh, sounds at night and some uh, a servant said that uh, she saw some she saw the ghost of previous owner of the house Uh, so uh, people became very scared uh, <clears throat> and uh, the the first uh, the the people who were living in the first story <clears throat> uh, wrote to um, vicomte to vacate the house and they vacated the house and after them others other um, uh, people who were living in the home as a rent uh, on rent Uh, left the home and um, they uh, missed only mr bertram's family left in the home uh, mr bertram's wife uh, slept sleepless night and his daughter wanted to uh, go away from this house as soon as possible so she got married to a, a barber and hair dresser whom she did not like before and uh, mr bertram also one day uh, decided to leave the house and uh, he uh, handed over the keys uh, to uh, vicomte and left the house so in this story a little thing uh, only the little thing uh, in which mr uh, vicomte lowers the price of the rent is uh, magnified in such a way is it is magnified and it is uh, exploited adversely and uh, and uh, it led uh, it led to to the abandonment of the house the house remained abandoned and no new um, people came dare to come to this house so in this uh, story the writer tells a little uh, it is bad to magnify a little thing and uh, and exploit it adversely thank you